Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to start with the most useful element of uh, architecture, walls. As you can see here, even in the um, design of the environment of uh, the ARCHICAD, you can uh, see the wall in the first uh, element of the design section. So by clicking on that, here we're going to see a lot of uh, numbers and sections and options. But don't worry, it's not uh, very complicated as it seems. The first thing is like the layer, which we're not going to, of course, start, start with um, what is the layers and let's um, start with uh, explaining this. So we're going to start with the geometry method. Uh, the first one is like the straight one. Oh, first let me delete these. We don't need it. Delete the viewpoint, delete anyway. Okay, here is the start of the project. This is the zero, zero point of the project. So if you're just asking, what is this cross here? So, um, walls. Okay, the first one is the straight wall. So by clicking, choosing this, um, you can draw walls, but how? The first point, one click with the first point, and you can drag and um, bring your wall as much as you want. The good point is that you almost can see um, how you are drawing this wall. So in this case, I'm gonna choose, uh, for example, this X, and I'm gonna enter um, like five meter, and uh, the angle is like 19, and uh, enter. Or we can uh, go freeform and click at the end, wherever we want. With arrow tool, I'm gonna select and delete these two. We don't need it. Okay, again, I'm gonna um, select the wall. And here we see in a small triangle, we're gonna keep our left click uh, on it. And then here we have more options. This one, uh, as you can see, it's completely clear that you can have multiple points and draw a wall. So for example, I can start here with the shift key, I can go straight. So shift key without shift key. Shift, I go up and then left or right in this case. <laughs> and up, back to the left, and I can use this guideline or this guideline, okay? And then, okay. And then, okay, uh, it's gonna finish uh, the wall for me here. So when I um, select the arrow tool and click on it, you can see these are the same element. And uh, actually this is mm, group. These are uh, grouped together. So actually these are three uh, walls, as you can see here. All selected is number three. So this one uh, has uh, the two black, uh, filled black uh, circles. It means it's just one element, one element. But here we have three. Okay, we move on and uh, we're going to explain the groups later. Select the wall. The next item was in a square and a square with a diagonal line in the middle. But what does it mean? The first click and the second click. So basically we're gonna have a room here. The first dimension, as you can see in this um, tracker, wherever I go, it comes with the cursor. The horizontal uh, length uh, is this one. And this is the vertical length. I'm not talking about the height. I'm talking about the length and width of a room. For example, here I can say that I want mm, three uh, meters for the first dimension. And with a down arrow, I'm coming 
down and here's I will uh, input number five which means five meters and then enter so this room uh, is now uh, five by three then we have uh, this one which is a little bit different it's not very um, useful it's just an option what it is first we put the uh, starting point then for example on this uh, x uh, i'm gonna put four and then enter and then i could have this but what is the difference between this one and that one in this option like that i'm gonna do a control z to undo i can start with any angle that i want for example here I would like to start four uh, meter length of the wall and 25 degrees. Hmm? Okay, enter. This is my um, initial line for the room, and then I can go like that. So for example, five meter here and enter. So this is uh, the room that I uh, drew with this option, but Technically, to be honest, if you're an architect, you know, you will never uh, draw a room like that. Back to the options. I'm going to move this with Control D, by the way. Control D is drag. So uh, whenever you select something and select Control D on your keyboard, you can move items wherever you want. So Control Z as undo walls i'm gonna put it back to the straight wall that i usually use the most here we have uh, curved walls the first um, option is starting with the center and just by selecting a radius we could have a circle in this case i'm gonna put like a three meter of the radius and then enter but we don't see our wall. Why? Because uh, it gives us uh, this opportunity to say that, how do you want this circle? How much, how much of it do you want? Like 90 degrees is fine. I'm gonna do just a click and we are having our curved wall. The other option is like that. It has three points. So maybe it's a three clicks. The first point, the second point, I'm going to put it like three again, and then the third one. Now we can see the, the circle, the curved wall that it's going to uh, show up later. So I'm going to um, click it like that. And then based on these three points that we clicked, it's going to show us uh, this wall and for example, I'm going to do it like that. OK. I'm going to select it with Control D. I'm going to move it like here. OK, we move on. Select the wall and this one. The first, the second, and the third. And just by three clicks, we could have the circle. The next item. I'm going to put it back here because I use this one more. It seems more uh, logical to me than the other options. Uh, the third option here, we have a trapezoid. So when I click it like that, and fortunately, <laughs> we don't have uh, any more options here. Here, I'm going to click and another click, but it's just a straight wall. I don't think so. Here we have an option for wall thickness. Uh, the starting point is 30 centimeter and the end point could be changed. So for example, here I put eight and, oh, <laughs> sorry, I should select the wall first. So I'm gonna put eight and enter. See, it changed. Now we have a wall that it's not parallel. These two sides are not parallel. Maybe in um, like historic plans in uh, 
in some uh, renovations uh, we can use this type of wall actually i used it um, in one of our projects uh, that it was renovation in um, in my in the university so i'm gonna move it here okay next one these are the curves one i'm gonna oops I'm going to control D and put them here. And this one, maybe just here. OK. The next option, the last option, actually. Geometry met method is polygonal. But what the hell is this? OK, we're going to start with, uh, I think it, it is a little bit from, um, similar to this one, but it has uh, a difference. As you can see here, it's just uh, one plane on uh, each side. Here we have a geometry. So I'm going to start with the first point and the second point and the third point and fourth, fifth, and go on till we finish we turn around to the first this is a wall do you believe it so definitely for example in um, to drawing and uh, an old church or an old building or i don't know we see a lot of things like these type of walls if you know what i'm talking about and here, there, we're coming like that. Thank you, guidelines and that. See, uh, we could have a lot of these um, in our uh, historic plants. I'm not gonna going deep on these. So let's move on to our next options. I'm gonna click uh, on the first uh, option that we have because it's the most simple. So here we have a reference line, but what is a reference line? For example, when you are uh, drawing a wall, this is uh, which is more uh, thicker. This line that is more thicker is uh, a reference line. So for example, if I uh, click on this, we are going to have a wall like that. And when I select it, you see this uh, side of the wall is different from this one. This is reference because if I change the wall thickness, it's going to change it from this line, you see? To understand it better, I'm going to go to this uh, room that we uh, drew it earlier. Here we had a room with uh, three by five, I think. I don't remember exactly. It was three by five, yeah. OK, it seems that uh, this wall are uh, very thick. We can select the, this shape, this wall, and we can change the thickness from the uh, reference line here. So here I'm going to go with like 10 centimeter. These dimensions didn't change. These dimensions are like three to five, but we changed the thickness. So the, this reference uh, line is calculating like that. So for example, also here, we're going to select this. And what is outside face? OK, here we could have our uh, reference line in the middle of the wall. And here we could change the uh, inside and outside of the wall here. So outside face and insert face. Also, for uh, calculations of the area of your plan, this reference line uh, are going to do it for you. So, uh, for example, in this plan, if, it, if we have walls of uh, 30 centimeter thickness, the area is going to calculate it by uh, this references line. So you must be careful that how do you draw this uh, wall in your plans. The other thing is surfaces. The surfaces, um, oh, first, we have uh, three types of wall. We have the generic wall, we have the a little bit detailed one, the composite wall, 
and also we can change uh, the profile here with different layers of the wall we're not gonna explain it right now so we're gonna go back to the generic wall or better to say let's go back to this part the floor plan and sections we want to see this on our plan and these are a little bit uh, complicated for our first session so let me explain it later also the link stories i should explain it with the sections so if you subscribe to my channel uh, you're gonna um, see it in upcoming uh, videos and tutorials and don't forget to like uh, this video because i would understand how many people will like it or watch it also you can share my channel or these videos with your friends or anyone that you think uh, using of Archicad is going to be helpful for them.